Whether I'm teaching one of my college courses or involved in a group program, one of my favorite topics is compassion and loving kindness and self-compassion. Not only do I absolutely love these practices because they just make me feel great, but there's also an abundance of research showing the benefits, not just emotional or social benefits that we get from practicing compassion, but there's also a lot of physiological benefits as well from things like reduced migraines, reduced chronic pain. We see actual changes in the gray matter volume in the brain, particularly in areas that are involved in emotional regulation. If you wanna change any health behavior, you need to increase self-regulation. You need to improve emotional regulation. So when we look at a lot of the research, we see things like that. We see changes in self-regulation. We see that people, not only if they've received compassionate comments from others, but if they even just give themselves compassionate comments or even imagine somebody giving them compassionate comments, they actually eat less. So just doing something so simple as being a little kinder to ourself, being a little kinder to others, and even just imagining some of these things can have a profound effect on our well being and our ability to stick with an exercise program or an eating plan and support us in things like weight loss efforts. One of the reasons that compassion is so beneficial and one of the ways that it actually helps us to increase happiness is because it helps us to be more in the present moment. Meditators that practice loving kindness meditation show less activity in an area of the brain which has been called the default mode network. Why is this important? Well, the default mode network is actually more active when our minds are wandering. And Harvard scientists, they conducted a really big study a few years back, and they were looking at happiness in daily life. And what they found was that a wandering mind, and this is actually the title of the study, <laughs> the publication, a wandering mind is an unhappy mind. And they found that the mind is wandering about 47% of our waking hours. So no matter what people are doing, they are much less happy when their minds are wandering than when their minds are focused. Compassion and mindfulness training help us to decrease mind wandering. And research shows that we have less of that activity going on in that default mode network when we practice things like loving kindness meditation. Now I'd like to guide you through a short loving kindness meditation, so I hope you'll stick around. Bringing your awareness to your breath, experience a feeling of warmth and caring within your whole body while you gently repeat the following phrases to yourself with each in-breath and out-breath. May I be well. May I be happy. May I experience peace. May I feel safe.
now bringing into your mind someone who's important to you, someone that you like and care for. Engulf them with a sense of warmth and caring. See them happy and smiling. Now gently repeat to yourself with your breath, may you be well. May you be happy. May you experience peace. May you feel safe. Now bringing into your mind someone who you do not know well and that you generally feel neutral about. Engulf them with a sense of warmth and caring. See them happy and smiling. Now gently repeat to yourself with your breaths, may you be well. May you be happy. May you experience peace. May you feel safe. Now bringing into your mind someone who you have had difficulty with or who has hurt you. Engulf them as much as you can with a sense of warmth and caring. See them happy and smiling. Now gently repeat to yourself with your breaths, may you be well. May you be happy. May you experience peace. May you be safe. Radiate the warmth and love to people around you, to everyone in your community, 
in your city, in the nation, in the world. May we all be well. May we all be happy. May we all abide in peace. May we all feel safe and secure. May we all feel loved and cared for. Bring your attention back to yourself so the feeling fills your whole being, breathing in peacefully, breathing out peacefully. Engaging peace with yourself and the world. Now bring your attention back to the room and open your eyes when you're ready.